In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most simple money plays in Madden that can beat every coverage in the game. With literally one hot route, you can snap the ball super fast against every defense. The other cool part about this little money play is it's going to be kind of an inverse to a lot of the concepts. So it's a great play. I call it a constraint theory play. It's a play that is going to beat every coverage, keep the defense honest. Maybe not something you're going to go to every down. You could go to it every down, but it's something that you're just going to force the defense to have to work. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. I also want to let you know that if you want to get my entire Gun Bunch ebook, we're going to be updating that over the course of the next couple of weeks, but I've been updating that throughout the year, of course, and we have a lot of different concepts. The cool part about our Bunch ebook is it's not just one uh, playbooks bunch. It's actually every bunch of the game. We talk about different playbooks. We have Carolina bunch. We have Indianapolis bunch. We have Seattle bunch, um, Tampa Bay bunch, stuff like that. So um, I'm going to be updating it with the Cincinnati bunch, which is what you saw pretty much everybody in the Madden uh, bowl run. If they were running bunch, they were probably running uh, Cincinnati's playbook primarily for their tight slots, which um, goes Madden has been running for the majority of this season. Now that being said, um, we're going to talk today about the play Flood, but if you want to get the ebook, the best way to do that is to join our Patreon membership. That's only $10 a month, and the cool part is as soon as you join it, you're going to unlock everything. All, not just one ebook, not just my bunch uh, material, but you'll unlock all 15 of my offensive and defensive guides in Madden, um, which is a really, really, really great deal because concepts kind of build upon themselves. You can apply trips route combinations to bunch. You can apply bunch route combinations to trips. You can learn air raid spread concepts, all sorts of stuff. So if you want to learn all of that, again, it's only $10 a month to get you access to all the eBooks, all the updates to the eBooks, as well as any new eBooks that are released while your subscription is active. And again, it's only $10 a month, so super, super cheap. And if you want to sign up, there'll be a link in the description below. Now, the play we're talking about today is the play Flood. And Flood is truly one of the most pain in the neck, thorn in the flesh uh, plays for any bunch offense. If you're a good bunch player, if you run Flood at the right time, it's going to keep the defense honest. Now, why is that the case? Well, it's the case because if we run, um, if we run this concept here, curl flat, or we can run this concept... Uh, bench pivot either one of these or z-spot for example any of these concepts here it's going to require um, a 30 yard cloud flat to be able to stop it and so with flood you're you're going to kind of turn the tables on them if you will so z-spot and go if we just streak circle we're going to see that this corner route is going to go about 30 yards so it's a 30 yard it requires a 30 yard cloud flat um, to be able to cover it if you run verticals, which is probably the most uh, overpowered play uh, in the game this year as far as how it works on a bunch, if you run the play verticals, then that's also going to require a 30-yard uh, zone to be able to have a chance to stop it. So this is where flood becomes a really, really great concept because it's real simple. It beats every coverage. And if you notice this out route, it goes not 10 yards, but it goes about 15 yards, which that specific depth is going to get over the top of any of the underneath zones from a cover two, cover three, and it's also going to get underneath some of those deep zones if they're running a Mabel. So that being said, I'm just going to show kind of some Mabel coverage here. Um, and just to illustrate this, we're not going to be able to, because we have the zone depths aren't going to be the same, but in general, this is kind of what you're going to get. Now, you'll see that this out route on the right goes about 15 yards and gets wide open. Now, if I was in, let's say I was in cover three. So if I was in, um, let me just go to a basic uh, Mike Blitz three here with two seam flats. And what you'll see here is the seam flats. Sometimes we actually get sucked inside. And I like to put the running back on a quick out. That's just going to help me beat man to man. What you'll see here is if you pass it up into the outside, you see that it can beat the seam flats. Um, quarter flats out of cover four drop or cover four match. What you'll notice is this is a match killer. And you'll see that you can throw this out route fairly consistently against any match coverage in this game. The other thing that's really cool about this play is actually a really good man beat. Um, if they're running cover one robber, which a lot of people have shifted to in this game, what you're going to notice here is that this in route is going to kill man to the inside. 
he almost wins. He basically wins every single time. And then the other thing you could do, if you want to wheel this rat running back, you can. It's going to get him out there, out there a little bit more. We know that wheel routes are one of the best routes in the game and borderline impossible to stop. So don't be afraid to wheel him as well. You could put him on a wheel or an out route or an option route or a hitch. Any of those things will work with this route combination. Now, one of the more kind of hidden adjustments or something that I think is underrated that you can do from this is you can actually block your tight end to get yourself a little bit better protection. And you can motion this guy to the right side of the screen and put him on an out route. The reason you might want to do this is if they're sending pressure out of Mike Blitz 3, which people are very likely um, to do in this game. So again, let me just set up a little basic pressure here. And again, you're going to want to motion that running back to the right and then just snap the ball once he kind of sets up. What you'll see is this little quick out gets out here real quick and it's going to force him to have to have hard flats on that side. Of course, they already have to have hard flats regardless. And the problem that this is going to create uh, for a Mike Blitz 3 or any kind of zone coverage is you're going to be able to pick up the blitz with the tight end. And then you're going to be able to just sit here. Oh, it's underneath. Okay, now I'm throwing my out route. And you see how good of a play this really is. Um, another kind of underrated setup from this for uh, beating, uh, beating zone is to do the same thing I just showed you. But instead of streaking our, our uh, circle, we're going to drag him. And you're going to create a little bit of a, a mesh combination. But what this does is if they're playing purples, this drag on the backside will be open. Oftentimes it will pull the user inside as well to be able to combat the out route. So there's so much you could do off this. You can also do the double hitches if you want to. If I was going to do double hitches, one of the things I would I would advise you to do is if you're gonna if you're gonna option route this running back, I would actually go ahead and smoke screen this outside receiver. And the reason why is because against zone, he's gonna pull out all those yellow or those zones, and then that's gonna be wide open. Now, one of the things that people are gonna do, especially against gun bunch, is you're gonna get a lot of this cover two with two vertical hooks. And the reason why they're gonna do that is to try to slow down, um, to try to th slow down seam wheels. So they're gonna recloud, but they're gonna use these vert hooks. Well, that's another situation where this out route is really effective because the vert hook won't go all the way out there. And then you can throw that for an easy, you know, five to 10 yards. Cover two probably honestly defends this the best. The one thing I would say, one last little piece of advice with this concept is if you're getting a lot of cover two, chances are that you're gonna be able to hit um, this little fade right here on a drag. And so you can drag Miller and you're gonna uh, wheel route uh, Fournette. And then what I like to do is actually just do a little bit of a motion snap. And what you'll see is your wheel, but then you have this little drag coming underneath and it creates a high low. We're just high lowing the defense at multiple points and that's what makes Flood so good against zone. Um, and then of course you do have, you could just simply do, just simply hitch circle, go. And what you'll see is this hitch is often open if there's no yellow zone. So because of the way this works out, they basically, we basically force them into a cover two where they have to have two vertical hooks, they have to have two um, cloud flats, and then we basically high low the cloud flat. So that's where your tight end flat route, your running back out route become really important because they're going to drop back, drop back, drop back. If you can catch this and rack it up field for about five, you know, five to seven yards, you're going to be in good shape. And then what you can kind of do once you've started to kind of establish this concept is that's where you go to your Z spot and go because you've kind of, again, you force them into a cover two call and then you go to Z spot and go. And the only difference is instead of now an out route, it is now a corner route, which goes super deep and it's going to get over the top of the cloud. So that's kind of how you can use this play to really complement everything else that you can do out of the bunch formation. So one of the best concepts in Madden. Um, if you guys want to get my entire bunch offense, again, join our Patreon. It's only $10 a month and it'll be, allow you to unlock not just the bunch ebook, but all 15 of my ebooks as well as any additional updates or new ebooks that we release we release typically multiple updates every single week to the ebooks so if you want to sign up for that there's a link in the description below you can join the patreon today for just ten dollars a month and the cool part also is that you can cancel 
uh, whenever you want. It's just a month-to-month -month deal, but as long as your subscription's active, you'll literally have access to everything uh, under the sun when it comes to competitive Madden or when it comes to eBooks. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there for you.